around the house. This video is sponsored by the following English learning websites. Do you live in a house or an apartment? House, apartment. An apartment is a unit within an apartment building. What do you see around your house? This video will help you describe various things you see in a house or apartment. First, let's check your vocabulary. Look at the pictures. You will have five seconds to guess and say the word in English. For example, you will see, you will say, stairs. Ready? Let's begin. Item number one. Sofa. We can also say couch. Item number two. Window or windows. Item number three. Fan. Item number four. Bed. Item number five. Door or doors. Item number six. Refrigerator. Item number seven. Microwave oven. Some people just say microwave. Item number eight. Stove. Item number nine. Dresser. Item number 10. Washer or washing machine. Here are some rooms and parts of the house. Say the words for pronunciation. Floor. Ceiling. Kitchen. Bedroom. Bathroom, hall or hallway, closet, roof, balcony, garage, porch, living room, some people say front room. Note, you can see more pictures with vocabulary words and hear the pronunciation by clicking on the links in the description below. 2. Grammar, Context, and Conversation Now that you have learned and practiced the vocabulary, it's time to put the words into sentences. To start sentences about your house, you can say, there is or there are or I have, or we have. We have three bedrooms in our house. I have a small kitchen. There's a big table in my apartment. It's in the dining room. Use prepositions to talk about locations in your house. Do you have a sofa in your house? Yes, it's in the living room. It's in the living room by the window. There's a big picture above the sofa. Here are some ways to remember prepositions in English. On the table. That means on top of the table, and it's usually touching the table. Under the table. It's below the table. You look down to see it. Next to the table. Near the table. By the table. Or nearby the table. Beside the table. It's close to the table. Doesn't have to be touching it. Above the table. This means it's higher than the table, but it's not touching the table. 
between the tables. That means it's in the middle of two tables. You can make sentences like this. On the desk, there is a computer screen. There is a computer screen on the desk. The real computer is under the desk. The mouse is next to the keyboard. There is a key in the keyhole. What is in the drawers? Talk about things you have in your house or apartment. In my house, apartment, there is, or there are, or we have, it is in, next to, by. Three, talking time. Pause the video and talk to about your house with your friends or classmates. Feel free to stop the video and take as much time as you need. Hope that was helpful. If you enjoyed this video, please click on the thumbs up like button below. Also remember to subscribe to our channel for more lessons like these. Have a question for our next video? If you have a question or English topic you would like to learn about in another video, please submit it at the link below. We would love to make a video especially for you.